So here's what the Elvish Tech R Hub patch looks like installed on the barrel. This actually isn't glued yet. I'm gonna kind of walk you through how to do these. This is my first time putting one of these on too, so try not to judge me too much, but we're gonna go through this together and see how these go on. It looks like it fits absolutely perfect. It's a one-to-one -one fit. Now they recommend using this specific glue here. This is Loctite Super Glue. It is the liquid version. They say to use this rather than a gel. They say gel works, but it can be more messy and problematic. So make sure you get something like this. Okay, so the instructions say to put a dot of super glue down, and this is just gonna spill out everywhere apparently. So we're gonna put that there. And it's just to start a timer for five minutes and let that drop of glue there sit for five minutes. And while the glue is drying, we're just gonna clean this up with some rubbing alcohol, isopropyl, whatever you got laying around there. Just gonna clean it real good. We already did clean the inner barrel here, so we're good there. Now I've got this little pick here. This is just like a little dental pick. I like using these rather than uh, toothpicks because if you use a toothpick, sometimes it can actually glue to whatever you're trying to apply the glue to. So this metal doesn't really glue to anything, so to speak. Now the key here is you don't want to put too much glue on because it'll squeeze out. If it squeezes out to the outer edges, that's fine. But if it goes on the inside, you might have to kind of clean it up a little bit so BBs don't get hung up on that. And what they're saying is you put the glue on, you immediately align the R-hop, apply even pressure for a few minutes. It says the longer the better. I would assume you kind of want to put equal pressure, not really in the center because it might push out to the sides. But basically you just kind of put pressure on the two spots there. This is longer is better. Um, if the alignment is imperfect, immediately remove it, clean the glue, start over. Now as far as I can tell, the r -hop patch doesn't really have a direction. Looks like our five minutes is up. Let's see if I can get this on camera here for you. So we're just going to take a little dot of this glue. Okay, good there. Okay, so our super glue is on. Let's see if we can get the R hop patch on without messing anything up. Okay, well, I got out of frame there a little bit, sorry. One thing to note with super glue is it tends to stick to your fingers pretty good. So if you get any on the top of that, just make sure that you don't glue your finger to this thing. So we're just gonna kind of hold it here. Um, one other thing, if you don't work with super glue a lot, there's a couple things about it. If you get too close to it, sometimes the fumes can burn your eyes and burn your nose. Just be aware of that. Um, wearing safety glasses sometimes will help keep the fumes away from your eyes. Or if you have a very gentle fan to kind of just blow the fumes away from you, that actually is pretty good too. But it will kind of sting your eyes a little bit. So make sure that you're, you know, if you're sensitive to stuff like that, don't put your face right over the super glue. Now, as far as I know, according to the instructions, it says the two edges of the R-Hop window. So I'm assuming it means the outer two edges here. Um, I guess we're gonna find out because otherwise it can't really squish down into the inner barrel here. So we're just gonna kind of hold it for a little bit. Now the glue dries pretty fast, so I'm not too concerned. Um, at this point it's bonded and you can actually see the glue has spread. I'll bet you can't see it on camera, but you can actually see that the glue is spread fully with the contact areas. So now that we have the R hop patch glued on, we're gonna let this sit at least overnight. I would let it, you know, let it sit as long as you can. It's not gonna like super glue dries pretty quick, but let it dry a long time if you can. It's probably the best thing to do. If you can do it on a Monday, you're gonna play on the weekend. Just let this thing sit for a couple days if you want. Um, that way you can ensure the bond is good and you're not gonna be putting pressure on it right away. And then I can feel there's a little glue right here on the edge, so you can kind of just take your thumbnail. Once it's dry, you can kind of take your thumbnail and just scrape it. So you don't have to go crazy, and that way you're not going to ruin anything with tools. Alternatively, you can use kind of a razor blade to kind of just gently drag and scrape. Um, so there's a couple tricks for you. So that's how you install the Elvish Tack R-Hop for the Mad Bull barrel. I'm sure it's the same with any other barrel, but there you go.